Hume Football League time and uh, we're going to get the Osmond perspective uh, from Jason Spud Webster today and he joins me live from the sprayer, a bit of pre-emergent weeds and a bit of air seeding going on out there in the paddocks around Osmond. G'day there Spud, how are you? Yeah, I'm going great. Thanks, Flo Man. Yourself? Yep, really good. Well, Ben Brenderzik joined us last week from the chemist shop in Urana, and uh, now we're in a sprayer this week. I'll get Phil Buffler along from Lockhart pretty soon when he gets things settled down a little bit after uh, the sad loss of his dad recently. But looking forward to him coming on the radio and giving us a Lockhart view. But I'll tell you what, the view from the CDHBU Power Boys is pretty good because they beat Henty 8 11 59 to 5 14 44. Gee, the Swampies had a real chance here, but let this one go down at Kareem. Yeah, they certainly did. And um, I know the Swampies have got a, a really young local side and, and they're, they're, they're in a happy place as a club. So, you know, they'd be disappointed with the loss. But Kareem's credit, you know, they've got a few good recruits there. And, yeah, for them to get a win against Henty be a long time since they've had a win over Henty, I'd imagine. Oh, it's right. And the Jets of the Billabong Crows, after their first up uh, loss, they got over how long? Down at the Spiderland, 10-11-71 to 8-10-58. I'll tell you what, the Crow boys uh, from uh, the Oaklands and Urana Townships, they would be crowing a lot about this this week. Yeah, they certainly will be. And I, I think everyone's going to underestimate the Crows this year. They've got to you look at their side on paper and they're, they're a very handy side. They're they're always hard to beat. So, yeah, I know Osborne, we got them this week and we're very nervous coming up against them. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, you will be. Broccoli with five was brilliant for the Crows. Evans played well too. Beal and uh, Hemphill were the good players, along with the young local, Zach Satori, uh, coming up from the junior ranks, having a real good game. Clark with four for how long in that match? And we move across to Lockhart, 10-9-69. Gee, the D's have got home and beaten Jindra down there at Bulldog Land. 4-5-29. And if you don't mind, a big 40-point win to Lockhart in a low-scoring match. Yeah, no, Lockhart, I, I um, heard a bit of the celebrations that happened in Lockhart on um, Saturday night. and They carried it well into Sunday. So, yeah, good luck to Lockhart. They, they had a great win. I think it'd be the first time in a long, long time that all the Western clubs had a win in, in Kareem, the Crows, Lockhart and Osborne. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Right uh, in the flow broadcast on 88.7, so great to see Emery with four for Lockhart. Wheatra two. Emery and Harrington, the better players for the D's, whilst it was um, the very good effort from M. Galvin from Jinder and also Speed, Lawrence and Weldon to kick their goals. Lawrence, Middleton and Speed got in their better players uh, for the Bulldogs. Well, we get to this big one for uh, Cal Can, their second win of the season, 11-9-75 Five to the Murray Magpies, six two thirty eight. Might have come at a cost, so the Lions have got three players out for their big clash against Lockhart this week. So, gee, Carl Can, um, two wins up the start of the season, but not convincing against the lowly Murray Magpies. Yeah, no, I think Karina, I'm uh, not Karina, Carl Can are on a bit of a rebuild. They lost a fair few players from their preliminary final site two years ago, but in saying that, they're a strong club. And actually, that game was called off in the um, start of the last quarter, one of the Magpies players was badly hurt, so they called the game off, um, Yeah, which was unfortunate. But yeah. anyway, apparently the guy's going to be OK, so that's the main thing. Yeah, absolutely. And what about this? Uh, Brock Burham, uh, two losses to start a season. That doesn't happen too often to the Saints, but they got nailed by Holbrook up at Waller, which was uh, the um, used ground for this because obviously the uh, works up at Holbrook are still happening. But 10 8 68 to the Brookers, beating uh, Brock Burham 8 9 57. Yeah, I think a couple of losses might be just what parks the Saints into gear. It might have, might have fired them up, and yeah, we can't expect them to lose too many more games as the season goes on. <laughs> yeah, I found it interesting in one of the reports they said that a win will come soon. Uh, gee, that's strange for the Saints. Normally they're talking about just winning each week, week in, week out. I'll tell you what, who is winning week in, week out is Osborne. It was a massive win. 24-9-153. Your boys beat the old Vaux Ram while Bunbury Waller 3-12-30, if you don't mind. A 21-goal drubbing of the Giants. Gee, this must be one of the best performances at been put out on the park by Osborne in a long time. Yeah, it was, it was quite amazing. The, the first quarter was very tight, contested game and, you know, we all said at quarter time, geez, Osborne's in a bit of trouble here. The Giants are really putting it up to them and, and anyway, about five minutes into the second quarter the Tigers 
God, if somehow I've got the ball on the outside and started running, and before we knew it, we'll kick 10 goals for the quarter. And, um, yeah, just steamrolled them. So, yeah, it might, might be just what the Giants need too. It might have stirred them up and got them fired up too. So, um. Hopefully. Hopefully they need it. Bar with um, the, the 200 games, one of your legends at the club um, was well celebrated too, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, Marty Bar, he's a, a local legend. He, he did it the hard way. He actually played in a couple of um, reserve grade premierships with me when he was a kid trying to break his way into the um, seniors. And, yeah, to his credit, he stuck at it and he ended up winning three best and fairest and four premierships, club captain, and now 200 games and... Still one of our better players, so no, congratulations to Marty. Yeah, well played to him. Par with five, Ward with four, Stenning with three, Galvin with two, Wiedemann to McDonnell and Armstrong. Young Armstrong playing some good football too with a couple of goals. Galvin, Rutland, O'Malley, Bar, Par and Wiedemann. E. Wiedemann, the better players. Lischke, Williams and Wardius, um, the N. Wardius for the Ranwa Bundry Waller side. OK, that brings us to this week and uh, it's going to be a really good round three action. We've got some great games to be played, including the Brock Burham Saints against Ranwa Bundry Waller. Both of them needing a win. Ranwa Bundry Waller will go down there against one of the old foe for them and Brock will spears the home deck. Can the Saints register their first win, Spud? Yeah, I'm. I'm got me money on Brocklesby. They're too good a side, too good a club to lose three games in a row. Um, they'll be certainly smarting. So I'll put me money on them. But it'll be a good contest. Randall Bundry. I know they'll pretty hurt after their loss on the weekend. So they'll they'll come out. Um, trying to get a win as well. And it's the Anzac weekend matches on the Saturday for us, but uh, thoughts um, the, on the, the Sunday with their RSL friends and CDHBU play the Murray Magpies. I'll tell you what, this is a chance for the power to remain undefeated, um, possibly with Osborne at the end of this round. Yep, and I think oh, they certainly will be undefeated. I can't see the Magpies getting over them, but there's been a few surprises in the league so far, so it may happen, but no, it'll be a great start to the Kareem Day South Footy Club. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's going to be a tough outing for Carl Cairn at home. They play against Lockhart, and I'm assuming that they're going to unveil their new oval at uh, the Carl Cairn. Lockhart will come across there. I'm led to believe, though, that uh, the Carl Cairn Lions will be without Dane Hallinan, Luke Kabokic, and Riley Noble, and their coach uh, says that it's been a good start, but, gee, this could be a tough one. Lockhart might go over there and uh, touch him. Yeah, I'm I'm keeping Lockhart in this one. I think with Colcan having a few outs, um, Lockhart uh, certainly got some confidence from the win over Ginger last week. And yeah, I can see them boys having another win. I tell you what, and even money won this one. Henty and Ginger, who do you pick there, Spud? Do both sides? I reckon Henty at home just might be able to shade the Bulldogs. Yeah, it's a toss of a coin. This one at the start of the season, I would have said Ginger, but. Yeah, no, my money's on Henty now. I think they might, um, just their local connection and, and they're all good mates and they're playing for one another. So I think I think that'll be the, the secret to Henty. And the Holbrook play how long down at Spiderland. Holbrook in good form. Could they also remain undefeated after this? i got a feeling they might be. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think Holbrook, they've got really good kids coming through. They've got a lot of leg speed. They, you know, they've got a really good coach in Sharpie and... Yeah, I think Holbrook will get over how long. Oh, this is a rivals game in the western part of this Hume Football League. Billabong Crows at Oaklands play Osborne, your Tigers. Gee, the Crows have named a good side too in here. I did have a look through their list and I reckon that there's going to be a tough outing here for you blokes. I reckon they'll take it right up to you early. Don't know if they'll win. I think I'll tip Osborne still, but gee, look out for the Crows. I think they'll be very competitive here. Yeah, well, I'm tipping an upset. Uh, I know, you know, on paper we should win, but I know we got seven of our regular players not playing tomorrow. We've lost to the Crows plenty of times down there at Oakland's in the past when we've been winning premierships. So I just think the Crows have got a good enough side. They're at home. Osborne's feeling maybe a bit overconfident and with a fair few players out. We're blooding a few juniors that are playing their first senior game tomorrow. Yeah, so I hope we don't win, but I'm tipping the Crows. <laughs> you hope you don't win. I hope you... you... <laughs> I'm 
sorry, yeah. <laughs> Good on you, Spud. He's going for the Crows. i tell you what, that's a massive tip, uh, but um, I still think that uh, it will be a ripping game. Uh, look out for the uh, very, very good quality spine that they have. Zach Kerr is a very good player. Looking forward to this one being played and looking forward to the result coming through. And uh, Spud, I'll catch up with you in a few weeks' time. We look forward to your comments on Hume Football next time. No worries.